here's your wrestling news for October 17th, 2021. And your headlines for today include, WWE's terrible booking of the women's division continues on Raw, Corey Graves once again buries Raw superstar during match, Tessa Blanchard hit with another massive accusation, WWE spoils results of King of the Ring and Queen's Crown tournaments on Raw, I sat there panicking all night, former WWE champion recalls problems with The Undertaker, Injured Superstar teases new championship coming to WWE, and more. We're kicking off today with Raw, which saw more first-round matches in the inaugural Queen's Crown Tournament as Dewdrop beat Natalya and Shayna Baszler defeated Dana Brooke. During the SmackDown first-round matches, fans were irate with how short the bouts were, as the two women's matches last Friday collectively lasted less time than Roman Reigns' entrance, and things weren't better on Raw. Last night's match between Dana Brooke and Shayna Baszler lasted just under 1 minute and 30 seconds in length, and in comparison, the Dewdrop Natalya match was practically an Iron Man match, as the Scottish superstar won in 3 minutes. We've previously reported that the women's division are unhappy with how they've been treated as of late, and are worried this will only get worse now that John Laurinaitis is once again head of talent relations. In a three-hour show, having less than five minutes for the women is a bad look for WWE, especially as they consider themselves pioneers of sports equality with the women's revolution, and this sort of treatment wouldn't fly at all with their male counterparts. Dana Brooke vs Shayna Baszler was an incredibly short match, but Corey Graves had enough time to once again bury Brooke. Last week, the Raw commentator berated Brooke from behind the desk, saying that the 32-year-old superstar hasn't accomplished anything in the ring and should consider hanging up her boots for good. Brooke responded with an Instagram post where she called Graves out as a clown, and this week, Graves continued his attacks, saying Brooke should concentrate on her match and not what he says on commentary. Baszler's victory over Brooke wasn't a surprise, as the former NXT Women's Champion has been booked strong as of late, and is a favorite to win the entire tournament, and although Brooke's road to the crown ends here, her impromptu feud with Corey Graves shows no sign of slowing down. Raw also saw an appearance by SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, and Sasha Banks before Lynch and the EST are officially moved to the show. Ever since the draft, the top four women in WWE, Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Belair, and Sasha Banks, have been appearing on both brands, and last night's show was meant to see a huge tag team match between the heels and faces. When you consider that Belair and Sasha Banks have a history, as do Flair and Lynch, it's hardly surprising that nobody could get along, and a brawl ensued before the match could get started. When Sonya Deville and Adam Pearce restarted the match, it once again ended in a no contest, and WWE's reasoning for this booking was obvious to the fans. This week's Raw was a clear attempt by WWE to try and protect all four women as much as possible, an attitude by the company that applies to only these four, and no one else in the women's division. Unfortunately, WWE's scramble to protect the quartet of talented superstars didn't translate to good programming, as no progress to any storylines was made mere days before Lynch defends her SmackDown Women's Championship at Crown Jewel against both Belair and Banks. The involvement of Charlotte Flair also feels forced, as the Raw Women's Champion has no single story of her own, and seems fine waiting out her reign in non-title matches before she moves to SmackDown next week. This Friday, WWE will have a huge non-title match when Lynch faces Banks on the supersized SmackDown, and we can only hope that this match doesn't have the same level of interference as last night's show. Earlier this month, Tessa Blanchard returned to the wrestling world, signing with the Women of Wrestling promotion. For the past year, Blanchard has been under great scrutiny by both fans and promoters after she faced accusations of racism and bullying before her Impact World Championship victory in January 2020. Now the second-generation wrestler is facing another accusation, this time by Chelsea Green. Speaking on her Green with Envy podcast, the former superstar spoke about All In 2018, and claimed that Blanchard, the Impact Knockouts champion at the time, tried to intimidate the other women on the card. Tessa, who was in our match, brought her f***ing Impact title to the show and tried to come out with it. In my mind, it was a way to look better than all of us. Bringing out a title, being the only person to come to the ring with a title, the fans are obviously immediately going to put you above the rest. Also, I feel like she did it because she knew that if she came out with that title, she couldn't lose the title on the show. Blanchard is now with WOW, as she's considered nuclear by both WWE and AEW, and we'll have to see if any other claims come out about the controversial former world champion. 
Back to WWE, as even before last night's Raw began, the winners of both the King of the Ring and Queen's Crown tournament seemed obvious, and this week's show did little to change that view. On Raw, Xavier Woods beat Ricochet, a result fans could see months ago, as the entire hype behind the 2021 King of the Ring tournament is because Woods demanded it on social media. His New Day comrade Kofi Kingston didn't have the same luck as he came up short against Jinder Mahal, setting up a semi-finals match with Woods. Given that WWE doesn't allow Sami Zayn to travel to Saudi Arabia, we know that Finn Balor will qualify for the finals, and with the face Balor confirmed, WWE have practically guaranteed that Mahal will defeat Woods and will presumably be crowned king in the tournament finals in Riyadh, continuing the tradition of heel kings. The side effect of this is that it'll undo a lot of good work Balor has done since his return to SmackDown this year, but we'd be surprised to see WWE crown King Finn, as traditionally, the King of the Ring crown has allowed heels to progress their characters. As for the Queen's Crown Tournament, Shayna Baszler predictably beat Dana Brooke, as she's the heavy favorite to win the tournament, and fans weren't too surprised to see Dewdrop, who's been booked strong since her call-up from NXT UK, defeat the veteran Natalya. It's a shame that WWE's tournaments this year have been so utterly predictable, but fans can expect King Jinder and Queen Shayna to be crowned later this month at Crown Jewel. More from Raw, as the top feud as of late on the red brand has been between WWE Champion Big E and Drew McIntyre, but when the two came face to face at the start of last night's broadcast, it was SmackDown's tag team champions, the Usos, who made an appearance. The brothers had a verbal face-off with the WWE Champion and his challenger, which set up the tag team main event, but it wasn't mentioned until later in the show that this was all a ploy by Roman Reigns. McIntyre didn't appreciate the champion speaking on his behalf, and after being double super kicked by the Usos, the Crown Jewel opponents reluctantly agreed to put their differences aside. That didn't pan out as the main event saw the Usos win by countout, as Big E and McIntyre were busy brawling with each other outside the ring. It'll be interesting to see if Reigns' motives for sending the Usos is revealed this Friday, but we imagine that this was the start of an inevitable feud with the Scottish superstar. Once the draft results come into effect, McIntyre will be SmackDown's top babyface, and this week's Raw was likely a preemptive attack by the head of the table. Whether McIntyre goes to SmackDown with the WWE title remains to be seen, but closing the show standing tall over Big E, the Scottish superstar was impressive this week and we're sure the Tribal Chief was watching closely. At WrestleMania 37, Omos made his in-ring main roster debut, capturing the Raw Tag Team Championships with AJ Styles. The pairing of Styles and Omos has been a highlight of the red brand in 2021, but with that said, all good things have to end. According to WrestleVotes, WWE had seriously considered splitting the former tag team champions up during this year's draft, and that was the plan until People of Power said that Omos wasn't ready to be a single superstar. The report didn't specify who these People of Power are, but said that a main Raw talent pled the case for the 7'3 superstar to remain with Styles. Omos and Styles weren't the only team to avoid being split, as there'd been plans to split the street profits before both men were drafted to Raw. WWE split plenty of tag teams up during the latest draft, and while Omos will one day have to make it as a single superstar, the WWE aren't ready to make that happen just yet. One name who has made it as a single star is Drew McIntyre, who's been one of WWE's top stars since winning the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 36. Even before then, McIntyre shared the ring with some of wrestling's biggest ever names, and during an appearance with Inside the Ropes, the Scottish powerhouse told the story of when he received a room he was sure was meant for the dead man. He said, It was so gigantic, and had like a dining room and a giant kitchen, and all I did was just sit there worried awake all night because I was like, clearly there's been a mistake. They thought like, Galloway, Calloway, they've clearly given me The Undertaker's room. And I just sat there panicking all night, but if I go back now, I totally would have made the most of that room." McIntyre told another story about the phenom from Drew's early days in WWE when he was trying to grow a compelling beard that didn't impress the dead man. We were on the road full time. I kind of walked down just walking up to him, sir. He's like, I've got more hair on my ass than you've got on your face, boy. We can't possibly comment on what The Undertaker's backside looks like, but we do know that McIntyre's facial hair has finally come around, and the dead man can watch his old protege tear it up each week on WWE programming. 
In July this year, former SmackDown Women's Champion Bayley tore her ACL while training at the Performance Center, and fans won't be seeing her for a while. After having surgery, it's expected that Bayley will be out for up to nine months, but the role model isn't keeping quiet during her time away. During this week's Raw, Bayley tweeted that what she wants doesn't even exist yet and used the hashtags for both Raw and SmackDown. It's hard to say what exactly Bayley wants, but some fans speculated that this could be her way of teasing another women's championship on the main roster, specifically a mid-card title similar to the recently announced AEW TBS championship. Other fans speculated that Bayley is seeking an all-female weekly show in WWE, while others would be happy enough with the women getting more screen time on the shows that already exist. Whatever Bayley wants, she'll be waiting a long time, as her nine-month recovery process means it could be April next year before we see her again. But the role model has her mind set on something for when she comes back, something that doesn't exist yet. And we're ending today with Crown Jewel as Mansoor has been undefeated so far in his home country, and he'll now put his streak on the line against Mustafa Ali. After losing to Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander this week, the tensions boiled over after the match, with Ali attacking Mansoor during a backstage interview with Kevin Patrick. This was followed by Mansoor laying out the challenge for Crown Jewel, which was later confirmed by WWE. Mansoor is the heavy favorite going into this match, as WWE always books him strong in Saudi Arabia, but we can't rule out WWE swerving the crowd next week in Riyadh. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.